Yes, my dear friend, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful evening here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia, to be precise. Wherever you are around the globe, you are in Africa. Yes, specifically Ghana, Nigeria, Cameroon, Senegal, Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, any part of Africa, you are South Africa. I'm excited to be back. Very good afternoon to you wherever you are. You that is in Europe, my brothers, I'm very, very glad you are part of this channel. Please, if it's your first time, like the video, share the video, click on the video. I'm sorry for the background there, my dear friend. <laughs> I'm so sorry about the background. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Dear friend, whatever it is, you are highly, highly welcome to this very special edition. You are very, very special. I, I want to appreciate you. Because in a moment like this, it is difficult to mention every country. But I'm excited you are part of this channel. Forgive me for the background. Yes, forgive me for that. I, messed, I almost messed up everything, but I'm in control. <laughs> All right, dear friend. Look, the, in the news, in the news, so much coming up on Konogalaga. Will Konogalaga stay or will he be going? He wants to stay, he wants to sign a new deal, but the Chelsea, the owners, they are looking at the FFP. He wants to stay, the player is willing to stay, but the club owners are looking at their books, they are looking at their bank accounts. In actual fact, it is not about whether Chelsea has, a, has the money or not, it's about whether we can balance the books. Because there's a limit to which every club can spend per season. That is just it. They are trying to do that so that some clubs will not have an edge over others. Even if you are a billionaire, they are trying to create a fair room for every club so that every club can compete, especially in the EPL. Especially in the EPL. But in, in Spain, Real Madrid is spending. They are always spending. But the truth also is that Real Madrid, they are making more profit. They make more profit. So the more profits your club makes, the better. If your club is making a billion pound profit, you can make, you can spend. If you are making 10 billion pound profit, you can spend as much as you want to. Real Madrid, they are making huge profit. As a matter of fact, their sponsorship deals among every club on this planet Earth, Real Madrid has the highest sponsorship deals, more than Barcelona. With Adidas and Nike, and there has been issues recently. If Adidas is giving Barcelona 70 million euros, Real Madrid will take like double. So they have the spending power. That is why you could see them buying the most expensive players. They can afford to pay players any amount they want to pay them because they have a lot of deals, sponsorship deals. Right now, Chelsea, we don't have that luxury. As a matter of fact, our highest sponsorship is about 30 million of our infinite athletes. I think it's about either 30 million or 45 million euros or so. So that is where we are stuck. Now, Moving on from there, Gareth Southgate gives Kopama zero England minutes in this international break. Zero minutes on a pitch of play. Zero. The last game that was played, England, Gareth Southgate did not even give Kopama just a minute of football. So why did he call the player to come? Well, we move on from there, dear friend. And I want to remind you, as we speak, as we speak, Enzo Fernandez should be on board the flight coming back to England. 14 hour flight. He should be arriving tomorrow, Thursday, or late night. Be, in fact, he should be arriving tomorrow, Thursday. That is just the truth. He should be arriving tomorrow, Thursday. And he cannot train when he arrives. That means that he will only train on Friday. Chelsea are worried. Enzo Fernandez might not make the weekend squad. Chelsea are worried Enzo Fernandez might not make the squad for this weekend's games in the EPL. Yeah. To some other news, we are aware Ashley Cole has been inducted into the English Hall of Fame. Yes, he has been inducted into Hall of Fame. And we know Ashley Cole, he started his career from Arsenal a few years and then he moved to Chelsea. When Jose Mourinho was signed, he quickly he was one of the first signings of Jose Mourinho, Ashley Cole. And he was interviewed after his induction into the Hall of Fame. This is what he has to say. He said, I turned up at Chelsea and understood from minute one that the manager 
Jose Moreno only wanted to win. And that was music to my ears. Jose only want to win. And that was music to my ears. Listen, this has been the culture in Chelsea. The only music that plays in Chelsea, Cobham, is win, 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 nothing else. Ashley Cole says that as soon as they sign him, he arrived at Cobham. The only music he hears in his ear is that the manager wants to win. The manager wants to... I turned up at Chelsea and understood from minute one that the manager, Jose Moreno, only wanted to win. That was the music in my ears. Is that the same spirit? Is that the same music? Is that the same drum? That is being hit, beaten at Stamford Bridge or Cobham right now. It's the same music being played at Cobham right now in the ears of the players. Listen, he said, the way we train day in, day out, the expectation was to train as you play. Train as you play. <laughs> but I really mean that the tackles used to fly. I knew the standards and levels were high and that was and that's what I wanted. The standard was high and levels were high and that's what I wanted to try to win more silverware. Do we have the same kind of attitude and of players in, in in this Chelsea squad? Do we? From the manager to the players it is all about winning. The mentality. The mentality. This is Ashley Cole speaking. This is not Jose Moreno speaking. If Jose is saying it, many of you think that it's just a rhetoric. These are players. Every player. I remember when, uh, who said it? That it got to a time in training where they have to, they, people were, uh, uh, when they see Michael Asian coming, they are trying to, because Michael Asian will, you know, he will kick you like he's playing a normal game. My, the, my Christian stackers are the hardest in training. The same thing Shiko is saying, they train as they want to play. Dear friend, this has been Chelsea. Well, let me go back here. Let me go back here and conclude with this. Kobe Menu was given his first call up into the senior national team of England, Kobe Menu, the 18 year old playing for, for Manchester United, Kobe Menu, the Ghanaian born British now. Yes, he was called last minute call into the English national team. And yesterday he played a game. He was in a lineup. I want to give you a few statistics about him, how he started. Kobe Menu's race ahead of two, you know, last night game, special start for England. On 26 November last year, he made his first Premier League start. 28 January 2024, first goal as Manchester United player. 14th March 2024, Southgate doesn't call Menu as part of the initial squad. That's 14th of this month. The, the coach didn't call him as part of the initial squad. 19th March 2024, Southgate changes his mind and calls Menu up. 23rd March 2024, Kobe Menu makes his debut for England, entering the pitch at Wembley against Brazil. Hmm. 26 March 2024, Kobe Menu starts for England the first time. That has been the young boy's improvement so far. He is now an English, fully English flex international. Well, we move on. <laughs> Moving from Premier League, we go to Spain. Yes, we, we conclude with Spain because I will come back with more exclusives. Report from Fabrizio Romano regarding a player, Hendrik, having the first meeting or face-to-face -face meeting with the president of Real Madrid. The first ever time he and the president of Real Madrid are meeting. Listen to it. He said, we are all waiting for you here. This is what Real Madrid president told Hendrik. We are all waiting for you here. 
Real Madrid president Florentino Perez tells Hendrik after the game. And then he gets Rod Rodrigo's shit. After telling him that we are all waiting for you here in Real Madrid, Brazil played their game in Real Madrid, in, in Spain, the last game, last night. After the game, Florentino Perez met with the player Hendrik. And seeing him for the first time as they signed him, this is a player Chelsea could have signed. This player was in Cobham with a family, with a father and a mother. They tore the entire, uh, how do you call it, Cobham, including Stamford Bridge. The family was excited only for Chelsea to step back. Now, Real Madrid went and signed him, 60 million euro. Now, as Frontino Perez met him for the first time last night, this is the statement he drew. We are all waiting for you here. Real Madrid president Frontino Perez tells Hendrik after the game. Then he collects his shirt. I see the video. You see Hendrik taking out his shirt and giving it to the president of Real Madrid. Dear friend, on that note, let me leave you here. I shall be back with more exclusives. See you when you see me. Shalom and peace.